we let poor Sweet Wolf into this field, the goat's field. And we had a tree Ian had taken down a little bit ago, wrecked the fence a little bit. And I didn't really look at this, but there was some barbed wire, and of course he's all caught up in it. It's all around his neck and in his fur, so I'm probably going to have to go grab some snips to get him out of here. He's super calm, which is great. Don't know how long he's been in. So we're going to go get snips and get him out. We managed to get Wolf out. He had quite a bit of barbed wire in different spots. I just had to cut it up in little pieces. Unwind it from his hair. Cut some of his hair out. Kind of a mess. But we got him out. He's happy. Happy to be out. He had a couple cuts in him, but not too bad. Could have been worse, especially if he was a more of a hyper dog. He's kind of hyper right now, but... Hey, leave out a kiss alone. You're very big. No, hey. Woof. He's a very sweet boy, but he does get hyper. And we're working on training still. It's always a... A very long progress whenever you have a homestead and you got to train him with all the animals and stuff. He's been showing interest in protecting the goats. That's why we've been throwing him in the goat field and also where he's able to get to their area at night so that he can watch over them. Put some new playground equipment out for the girls. Try to get him used to things by putting some grain on it. And I think they're content. I don't know if they'll hop up on that wheel or not, but I figure eventually as I get to playing around, they'll probably test it out. We'll see if it works any.